Hey everyone, Mortgage Nerd here. So when you have mortgage insurance, what do you need to do to get rid of it? To not have to keep paying it if you feel your value has gone up enough to get you into that 80% loan to value. All right, so this is a great topic. Watch my other video going in depth on whether mortgage insurance is even worth it or not. But if you wanna get rid of it, the first step you wanna do is reach out to your servicer. Ask them what their rules are. I recently did this for two of my properties and for me to get rid of the mortgage insurance, we'd have to wait till, the, till two years have passed. So one mortgage was done last July, only 13 months have passed. The other one was last September and that's 11 months. So to get rid of the mortgage insurance, we have to wait until next year, 2020, get an appraisal, make sure that the value has gone up enough where the loan to value is now under 80%. One mortgage was 90% loan to value. Uh, so now we owe in the 440s, and but the value should be in the high 500s. So yeah, that one, as long as values maintain, which I think they should, then next year I'll be getting rid of my mortgage insurance for free without having to do anything, just get an appraisal. Uh, what I mean by for free is that we're not going to get a uh, refinance with all the closing costs and all that. So the other property was purchased at 207,000, put 5% down. So we owe around 190 on that one. And, uh, but the values, they're starting to sell in the 250s, 260s to, you know, higher. So a year from now, that value should be in those high 200s. Uh, we're talking about the low point of a market, uh, high demand. I, I bought in that area because I have clients from years ago when the values were under 100,000 in there. So I understand that area and I know it's going to keep appreciating and doing well. So of course we have to knock down 15%. You know, we have to get up to that 260 and you know, then, then for sure we'll be under the 80%, but then the mortgage insurance is going to go away. The other way is you refinance. Um, if they're not going to let you do it, every servicer might have a different rule. This one particular had the two-year rule. A lot of my clients fall under this because I use the same lenders and servicers that I offer my clients because I believe in them and I like them. I mean, here's an example. My cousin, I told him to do the same thing a couple of years ago. He goes to Wells Fargo and they said, uh, sorry, you have to wait until it's less than 80% of your original value, not the new value. That's garbage. That's gar that's not an F Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac rule. That's a Wells Fargo rule, you know. So I don't I don't deal with companies like that. I deal with companies that are that are fair. And they said, hey, look, we need to collect two years worth of that mortgage insurance. Basically, is what they're saying. If your value went up enough, you show the appraisal and you can knock it down. That's really the best way of doing it. I think anybody that's had that mortgage for two years, you probably haven't if you refinance or purchased in the last year. Uh, but if you've had it for more than two years and you have not refinanced, that's another way of doing it. You just refinance. If you lower your rate by half a percent or one percent, depending on what state you're in, then then you, it's worth refinancing to lower your rate and getting the mortgage insurance knocked off. You know, that's a double whammy there. Uh, but either way, mortgage nerd out. Thanks.